Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome if this is your first time at the channel. Welcome back if you have seen my videos before. Shout out to a friend of mine who've just rebranded my channel. Um, so thank you very much for that. Go and check it out, please. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. You know, we're doing this on a shoestring budget. So um, so yeah, uh, it looks a lot better than, than it was before anyway. So hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, I'll try and keep, keep them coming. As always, comment down below anything you want to see. Let me know. Today we've got the Golf Ismo, if I'm saying that right. I think I am. Um, so it's you can bundle it with Creative Golf 3D or you can buy it on its own or vice versa. Um, but it's the same makers as Creative Golf 3D. Um, it's slightly cheaper, I believe. Um, with this you get lots of little mini games, so it's really good for kids and, and sort of just just fun I think. Um, it's good practice as well. Today we're gonna go on the little mini courses. So again, some of the you know the, the full blown courses are a bit too long for the for the younger or even just the the, the shorter hitters. Um, so these are a bit easier um, and uh, yeah they're not so long so my son loves playing them. So uh, we'll have a look and see what it's like. Okay, so we've loaded up uh, Golf Ismo. Um, today, there's lots of different games as I said on here. Today what we'll do is we'll do a bit of easy golf. Again, we're running the Devo, so you get North Coast, which are par three, and this little rocky P and P. So we'll just start off on North Coast. You can do all the, the different games. Let's change my player. Alex. Okay, that. Save. Okay. And away we go. So today, um, unlike my other videos, this one is running on um, a dedicated Windows PC. Um, so not my MacBook, although I do have, <clears throat> although I do have it running on the MacBook with Boot Camp. So check my other video out for that. Um, okay, so par three hundred and fifty-seven yards. Again, graphics look really good. Lots of depth in there. Just looks really realistic. Now straight away, this looks quite open, um, making it slightly easier. So we've got an iron, we'll see if we can get one to the green. Good hit. Then you just bounce on or come a bit short. Yeah, nice firm fairways. And it's on the green. Um, I did have a quick chat with the guys from Creative Golf who do the software and they gave me a few pointers after watching some of the videos. So if you notice, um, I've set the screen up correctly now. Um, I mean, it's all, you know, preference stuff. But now, um, because I'm slightly offset, you can select, you can set your canvas size in the settings. Um, let me know if you want to see that, I can show that. So you can select your canvas size, which is basically your impact screen for me. Um, and then you can also tell it how much you're offset. Um, so I'm offset, you know, about a yard. So I put that in and it just gives you a more realistic ball flight. And also you're teed off if you notice just to the right of the tip. Okay, so putting mode, we've got 10 and a half yards. quite hit that. Uh, I did notice as well, I'm not sure if it's just, I think it is just this, the Golf Isimo, if I'm saying that right. You can change the cup size as well, which is which is good to make it easier. Um, to get the ball in. It's raced off. And that will give me, I think it's six and a half foot gimmies. I set it to. It is, but I'm <laughs> not enough, but terrible putting. Again, Mevo Plus, eight foot back. We putt about five foot with a different ball. Nine and a half foot. Yeah, it did just tail off. So what's that, a nice little four pack to start with. So far this software is my number one <laughs> um, that I want to definitely look at buying. 
So again, you get the, the round is finished, you only get one hole with the demo um, on that. And it tells you what you've done. So we can hit finish game, exit without saving. So what we'll do is we will do the other course. Give that one a go. I'll show you as well, when you load up the software, I've done a quick video, um, I'll, I'll add it in in a second. Um, when you load up the software, you can do a test, you can run a performance test on your laptop, which I've done, and it's come back saying you can use the high, high res setting. Um, so I'll show you that now, and I'll talk you through it. Okay, again, lovely, lovely hole. Just looks so nice, so green, the clouds are moving, you've got your trees wafting there in the breezy wind. Again, all that you can change, you can change the wind. Um, I think I've got it set to breezy, you can have it to, to off, I think, and um, really windy. can't remember what the setting is, but more windy. Got the metallic dot using a chrome soft. Div action mat. Got questions on any of that, please let me know. Okay, just take a wedge. Oh, hit that nice. So there you can see it, it just tees up to the right. Pushed it off to the right. Again, ignore that little lag. I've got the, the windows. Um, the Windows Movie Recorder running today but this laptop's a bit this laptop should be able to cope a little bit better okay so let's see what a sand shot is it's 30 to 40 percent um my previous experience i think doing a little comparison to e6 that i've played a lot is this maybe a bit more realistic if that's the word um it definitely penalizes you more and again i think you can turn turn those settings off terrain penalisation. Um, so what have we got? 34 yards. <coughs> yeah, I didn't hit that very well. But yeah, it's got out, so happy with that. Are we on? We're on the putting green. These holes are meant to be easy. I'm not doing a very good job of making them look easy. 20 yards is quite a putt, isn't it? We're on the fringe, but it's put me on put putter. So you do select the club at the bottom right of the screen. Uh, give it a bit of a bang. Probably about where I hit it, to be fair. Again, putting working for me. It always has done. I haven't done the latest ver uh, updates. I think I'm on 13 on the Mevo. Um, I've left them because my work unit is working well. I think I've left that short. The only thing I would say with my Mevo is my spin numbers are a little bit low. Um, so my clubs go a little bit further. <clears throat> So I will be looking to try and address that. I've done a little bit of testing here and I can't work out if it's the projector or if there's interference. Um, but they definitely are a little bit low. What have we got? Seven and a half foot. Let's see if we can get a putt in. That could go in. There you go. So once you're in sort of within say 10 foot on creative golf or the golf is a mo, I find the putting really good and um, you can really attack it and go for it. Mm. Okay, so scorecard at the end of the hole shows you how badly you've done and then obviously would you like to purchase the full version so we can finish the game. Okay, we'll do, what should we do? We'll do one more, the darts, we'll do the darts. Six rounds. I played this. This is this is cool. This is fun. Let's use sandwich. 
yeah, let me know what you think of the channel. Try to uh, give it a little rebrand. Um, I quite like it. So 50 yards, obviously the idea to score as many points as you can. I love darts, I play a lot of darts myself, so this is golf and darts at the same time. What more could you want? <laughs> See if we can get a bullseye. 50 yards. <laughs> that was a very good. Try again. Hit it this time. Oh, nearly. Wow. But again, great fun, you know, without even knowing it, the little ones are going to be practicing their golf and having fun at the same time and obviously we can have a bit of fun with them. Not hitting it today. I think you get six attempts. Or three attempts. Six, three. Next one is a few more. Oh, 17. Oh. It's consistently bad, at least. <laughs> oh, I fin that. Oh. Oh. You set up. Right, we'll do one more. You're probably bored of my chipping, mate. As you can see, though, I need a bit of practice. Oh, that could be bullseye. Oh, into the one. Oh. Okay, so that's the darts game. Is it that? But yeah, I urge you go try the demo. Um, why not? You know, you've got nothing to lose. They do do it for, uh, I think it's Unica and... Well, I think all of the major, all of the major launch monitors. Um, so there you go. Let's just open this. That was just a quick look, quick snippet of the Golf Isimo. Let me know if I'm saying that wrong. Um, running off my Windows lap laptop today. <clears throat> Again, really fun, really quick, really easy to set up. Works well. The mini course is, is really cool. Again, good, good for the little, little ones, younger ones. Um, but if you haven't, yeah, go, go to Creative Golf website, download it. You don't need a high, you know, a really high spec laptop. That there is uh, the minimum specs on there. <clears throat> I'm just using my my standard laptop to run it, and it's working nicely in the, the high definition mode. Um, but yeah, really impressed. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, please let me know. Um, I can go through all the games if you want to see them all. <clears throat> um, and stay tuned. There's many more videos to come. But as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you soon.